Hey guys, so as I mentioned in my last review of the Specialized Tarmac, I bought a new frame and I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek. The bike's not completely built, but I want to show you some of the parts in the frame itself. So here it is, my new S-Works Tarmac. And the first thing that probably strikes you is this awesome paint job. If you come in closely, you can't see it from too far away, but these little dots here are like 24 karat gold sprinkles. And uh, it's got a mix of like a smooth kind of glossy finish as well as like a matte finish. So it's a bit of a hybrid and you know, it's a, a pretty unique, uh, it's pretty cool. If you come in here, you can see the fleur de lis symbol all over the, the seat tube as well as the fork, which isn't obviously attached. Here you got the three stripes because this is the Nibali Celebration Edition. So this is the frame that Nibali rode on the 2014 final stage of the Tour de France, which he won. And this just signifies that he won the Tour de France for the yellow stripe, the Giro d'Italia for the pink, and the red for the Vuelta. So he's won all three Grand Tours, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, this is a limited edition frame. There was only about eight of them built is what the, the guy told me. And I, I was looking everywhere for this frame. I called a bunch of shops, emailed them, and... Uh, yeah, the guy turned out to have one, so I had to pick it up, and he gave me a pretty good deal on it. And down here, I have the S-Works crank arms with the uh, Speed Zone Power Spider. It's basically a cork power meter, and it it goes um, it's basically replacing the spider of the original S-Works crank. And the chain rings I don't have yet in my possession. I actually purposely didn't buy them yet just so I could do a bit of thinking I wasn't so sure of what size I want to go with but now I'm definitely going with the 5236 yeah I was so happy to find this frame this is definitely a, a, the frame color I was going for and it also reminds me of like a like Star Wars like the opening scene I don't know for some reason like this black background even with these little dots remind me of stars I guess in the yellow font maybe uh, anyway I um, here's some of the components I have so I have the FSA OS 99 stem it's a 120 and um, yeah if you can see the whole like these are the handlebars the K-Force and the K-Force seat posts they're all the special edition Tour de France um, that, uh, that's also <laughs> nibbly, so it matches the bike really well. And the, the cool thing about these handlebars is they may look like traditional handlebars, but they're actually a bit flat and kind of oval shaped too. So they're not quite traditional and kind of gives them a unique feeling. Uh, I think it'll be interesting riding these. They're compact handlebars, so they look pretty comfy and right down here it has a bit of an indent where it's not internal cabling or anything like that but when you wrap the uh, handlebar tape you can put your cables and, and wires and things like that right here so it gives it a much cleaner and uh, neater look but yeah this is the lightest handlebar I've ever felt this is so light I don't even know if this is gonna keep me up I'm I'm actually kind of worried, but anyhow, um, that's that's my setup so far. This is all I really have, um, so I think this is going to be a really great bike once it's done. And uh, here are some tires I picked up when I get my bike together. The Turbo Cotton tires, these are the second fastest tires out. I mean, the, I, I, the reason I didn't go for the first fastest is because... They're actually tubeless and I'm, I'm probably going to run clinchers, but yeah, I mean, I'm really looking forward to using these and seeing how they roll. Now, just to be clear, the reason I got rid of my bike, my old orange tarmac, was not because I didn't like it or anything like that. Actually, quite the opposite. I fell in love with riding the tarmac. Like, I, I, w I wanted to get something a little nicer, so I got the same bike. I got the tarmac, but the S-Works frame which is going to be a bit stiffer not necessarily more lighter 
I think it has more layers of carbon, so it might even be heavier, but um, it's pretty much negligible. But the stiffness uh, would probably be noticeable. But I just want some nicer and, and to upgrade some other parts. So instead of uh, upgrading that bike, I just decided to start from scratch. And I've been finding the most amazing deals. Like I'm saving so much money just by just by sh shopping around, not like just walking in a shop and saying, oh, I want this, this, this. You know, I'm, I'm looking around. So I found some pretty cool stuff. Uh, more stuff are on the way. And looking to get this built within the next month or so. But yeah, that was a quick sneak peek. If you guys have any other questions or comments, you can post them down below. And find me on social media if you guys want to talk about nutrition, cycling, the vegan lifestyle, whatever. Feel free to hit me up. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Or out on the road.